Our program has had a culture that we developed over the four decades that I've been here, but it changes a little bit or it has to be renewed because there are new people joining. And the key people are the, are the players. You try to work together, you know, give them opportunities, not just on the court, where they get to know one another. You don't just go on the court and go into games and say, okay, now we're together. No, you have to be together off the court. That's where it starts, because then once you trust each other off the court, you can hang out together, you can laugh together off the court. Now, you're, when you step onto that court, you're not going to be afraid to confront, because you're friends now. You're real friends. You're not just saying it because you're wearing the same jersey. You actually mean it because you've actually bonded over something. That's what builds the team before you really get on the court and build the team on the court. I mean, we hang out a ton off the court um, after practice or after workouts, and that's, um, I feel like, where we build uh, that, that relationship and that, that bond really uh, the most, uh, more than even when we're in the gym or even in the locker room. I think we've really viewed our team uh, for the long game, and what we've tried to do is to really let the guys develop relationships Put them in different situations where they're having fun together, getting to know each other, you know, trying to get guys to, you know, different roommates, uh, people sitting at different tables to talk to one another. Coach, you know, being who he is, saying, hey, look, we got to make sure that we are teaching these guys. And that's so important. When I was a player at Duke, you know, you know, Coach Dawkins, you know, Coach Henderson, you know, they they, they taught me those things. Um, the players, you know, we, we, did, we had older players, Jeff Capel, you know, Trajan Langdon, you know, those guys taught me what it meant to be a Duke basketball player and they continue to instill those values. I think the first key for building our culture is uh, leading by example. So all the older guys who have been here who know what to do, first things first, we got to show up and do what we're supposed to do. Second, we just have to spend time with them off the court. We gotta go hang out, play video games, watch TV, anything to just really get to know each other as quickly as possible. One of the reasons why I chose Duke was because on my visit I was so you know cool with the upperclassmen. I got along with them really well. So I know for me and some of the other guys, you know, we, we picked it specifically. One of the reasons was because the upperclassmen are such great guys. And just as an upperclassman, uh, what we've tried to do is really just create an environment of open doors for the young guys, like letting them know um, wherever we are, they're more than welcome to come through and hang out with us. We spent a lot of time uh, planning July through the Canadian trip. And what we tried to do is to have different events. One, a barbecue at, at our house where the guys are playing games, they're in the pool. The barbecue at Coach's house especially set a really good tone because that was sort of when we really just first got here. And that set a good tone for the rest of the summer and it just kind of picked up from there and evolved. Nolan does a really good job of scheduling uh, off the court things. This summer we went to Ruth Chris, we went and saw Uncle Drew. We got to see someone that's a part of the Brotherhood, which is Kyrie Irving. Uncle Drew himself, we went to zip lining. Everybody was having a great time, everybody was talking and laughing. You know, we also went to Coach K's house, we had a cookout. That was like the beginning process of joining the Brotherhood and seeing what Duke is all about. It's like zip lining has been, was great. That was a really good bonding experience for us, especially because we were all scared. <laughs> And then uh, Coach's house with that barbecue on the 4th of July was a great time. We got all the games set up, we got the pool. That was our first time really hanging out as like a family. It's just the little things, you know, mixing guys up, you know, making sure there's no, you know, no cliques, no older guys and younger guys, but just uh, overall just a team. And I think, you know, this was a very important summer for us. And, you know, right off the bat, everyone bought in, everyone worked hard, and, you know, we were very pleased. You know, all the great Duke teams, all the really good teams that we've had, special teams that we had, we had teams that talked, whether they're talking trash or talking to each other, talking to the other team. We talked. Um, I think it's intimidating. So what we're trying to get this group and what I've been trying to concentrate on and coach has and our coaching staff has is just talking. Kids don't talk anymore. But you get into the Instagram, the social media, the Facebook, the, t the Twitter. We want to get these guys talking, man. That's what I've been trying to focus on amongst other things, showing them the Duke way, so to speak. And part of that is communication. The more they do it, the better they get at it, the better it would be as a team. And obviously the, the trip to Canada was, was huge. And what we wanted to do there was not do a lot of sightseeing, but rather uh, interaction, whether it be the cruise, whether it be the, uh, the CN Tower. They had fun. They had fun and, and they interacted.
definitely going to Canada really helped us, you know, gauge where we are and where we need to, to go. So just building, you know, uh, camaraderie on and off the court is it's been great. I didn't know what to expect, so it's been it's a really disciplined program, but it's a lot of fun. This group really doesn't know class. They they don't know a senior from a freshman. They 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 become friends, and I think. Uh, it showed on the court too with how well we played up in Canada. It's almost contagious just the like, positive energy and that I think carries on to the court like we really have fun playing with one another um, unlike anything I think I've ever been a part of to this point. You can see it on the court it definitely translates when you barely see people when you come to the court it's just it's not the same there's not that that chemistry that you have and like Zion and I are probably together the most because, you know, we're roommates and you, it just translates on the court. You know, we go lost to each other, we always find each other. You know, in the past, sometimes it's kind of been upperclassmen, freshmen, and, or just like little groups of friends who would hang out together. And this year, I think we're all just teammates. And I think that's been the biggest difference. I think it starts with that, getting to know each other off the court. And then as we do more and more practice, more workouts, more individual work, uh, developing camaraderie and uh, that trust on the court. If you have that bond, uh, that means you're trusting one another and you're holding one another accountable. When we get into tough situations in games, we're able to rely on each other and know that we got each other's backs. The Duke basketball culture is a brotherhood. You know, just a brotherhood on and off the court. Yeah, this program has always had great values, great beliefs, and morals. I think I live by them to this day <laughs> with my own family. And it's all things that Coach K put in, put in me when I first stepped foot on campus. And we all know that the simple things sometimes lead to big things. And that was a big part of what we wanted to do this summer. And I think we're accomplishing that. You know, we want these guys to come in as boys and leave as grown men, whether they were here for eight months or whether they're here for four years. This group has an amazing chemistry already. And they, I think they really get the, our culture. And then we have to keep building it.